sometimes I, I wonder if you guys um, can persevere through problems like this. Uh, I didn't talk about slope in relationship to tangent. Um, but some of you guys I know got lost because you saw that word slope and you're like, oh. Do you guys know how to find the slope of a line? Yeah. 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 Oh, that, no, that's slope intercept form. What is slope? You guys remember? It is something over something. Rise over run. Okay. So, if I had um, if I had this random line right here, and I wanted to find the slope of this line, I would just need two points. Now this this one happens to be going through the origin, and this one right here, I'm going to make something up. Let's say it's three two. Would you be able to find um, the slope of this line? Yeah. yeah, you you can do it two ways. You can go. 1, 2, rise, 1, 2, 3. There's your run. So you know it's 2 over 3. Or you guys can go, you know, here, let me write that stuff down. Slope is rise over run. And you can count the rise over the run. Or you guys can subtract the rise numbers, which in this case is 0 and 2. That's this number and this number. And then subtract the run numbers, which is 0 and 3. So you get negative 2 over negative 3, which is 2 over 3. That's the slope, right? Which is not that difficult, is it? No. no. You guys know how to find slope. But what if I take away these nice pretty numbers, and I put some nasty looking things right here. Could you still find the slope of that line? You totally could. It's the same thing, isn't it? You're just going to go, and actually, I don't have to go 0 minus 2 and 0 minus 3. I could have did the opposite. I could have said 2 minus 0 and 3 minus 0. So can I do that right here? Find the slope of this line? Let's see. Uh, we would go uh, 1 half minus 0, and then on the bottom, red 3 over 2 minus 0. What would that equal? 1 half over red 3 over 2. Does this look familiar to you? It should. Because if I were to draw a triangle right here and put an angle right here, you are actually going height divided by co-height. Right? Y divided by X. So isn't slope the same as tangent? Oh, they're the same. So why don't they call it the slope function instead of the tangent function? We already have an S. Because the tangent line thing that we were just talking about. Okay? So because of the tangent line thing we were just talking about, that's why they call it tangent. But it's kind of the same as the slope function, <laughs> wouldn't you say? If you wanted to, you could cross out slope in both of these and write tangent. you got to find tangent of 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. And if you use the unit circle, that actually will make your job a lot faster. Why? Because look at this point right here. Which um, which uh, value is sine and which one's cosine? Cosine is the first one. Sine is the height, which is one half, the y value, and cosine is the cohight, which is the x value, right? So you're just going y divided by x to find all your tangent functions. Y divided by x, and when you do that, you're going to be doing that with fractions. So just like what we did, oh, we didn't do it yet. So over here, you see how you're dividing? We can go 1 divided by 2, or 1 half divided by red 3 over 2. How do you divide a fraction? 1 over 2 times 2 over red 3. You can um, then cross out these 2s, divide them both by 2. You get 1 over red 3. And then if I multiply the top by red 3, the bottom by red 3, we get red 3 over 3. So that's how you find the slope, a.k.a. tangent, of each of these angles. Uh, what's the point at 0 degrees? It's 1, 0. So if I did y divided by x to find the slope or the tangent, what number would go on top? 0 divided by 1. Can you go 0 divided by 1? 
No, yes, you can. You can divide zero by any number you want. What do you get? Zero. Now, let's uh, take, for example, 90 degrees. What are the coordinates at 90 degrees? Zero, comma, one. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So now, y divided by x there, what's the y? And what's the x? Are you ever, 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 ever allowed to divide by zero? No, that's why it's undefined. And I showed you guys earlier why it's undefined in terms of the tangent line because we can't even draw it. So two reasons why tangent is undefined at 90 degrees. It's also undefined at 270. Very nice.